Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about something I have gotten questions on in the comments on some other videos recently, and that is how to create a combination listing in your Etsy shop. How to add multiple product types, such as t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies, into a single listing. The question is not really whether you can do this on Etsy because you absolutely can. The question is whether you can do this and still have your orders automatically sync to your Printify account. The answer is yes, you can. It does take a little bit of work, so let's dive into it and take a look at how it's done. Before we talk about how to make these combination listings that work with Printify in your Etsy shop, I want to take a second and think about a few things that you should consider before you decide whether you want to go in this direction for your shop. So first of all, there really are just two schools of thought about whether combination listings or individual listings are better. One is better than the other. So one philosophy is that if you have separate listings, you have more listings that could show up in search results. So basically you occupy more internet real estate. You have more chances to be seen and clicked on. The other philosophy is that within your individual listing, a customer may leave your listing and not purchase because you didn't offer the design on a variety of products and it was cumbersome and time consuming for them to search within your shop to see if you offered that design on other products. I'm not saying one of those two philosophies is right. I'm just saying that those are kind of the two schools of thought. Some people prefer to do the combo listings because they think it helps them make the sale once a customer is in the listing. And some people prefer to do their listings all separate because that occupies a greater number of search results and in theory maybe increases the chances that your listing, one of your listings, gets clicked on. So in addition to those general philosophies, here's some specific things to consider. Any sale that you set up for your Etsy shop is going to apply the same to every product in that listing. So if today you set separate sale amounts for different products, say 20% off for t-shirts, 10% off for hoodies, if you put those in the same listing, well, now the sale applies the same to both of those things. So you lose a little bit of control there. You also have to consider your shipping profiles. If today you have different shipping profiles for, say, t-shirts and hoodies, maybe because your print provider has different production time ranges, or maybe you offer free shipping on t-shirts, but you charge for shipping on hoodies, then you're going to have to figure out how to reconcile that because you can only apply one shipping profile to a listing. Next is the mock-up situation. So the more products you have in a listing, the more complicated the mock-ups can get because Etsy only lets you do 10 mock-up images per listing. So if you have multiple products, you need to somehow showcase all of those products as well as having size and color charts that explain the different variations to your customer. And so the mock-ups for these listings can get a little complicated and cause a little bit more uh, manual work for you. Lastly, consider that you only have 13 keyword tags that go in each listing, and the more products you have, the less, uh, the fewer number of different variations you can have for each product as far as the long tail keywords that you have. So if you use a tool like Sales Samurai to suggest multiple different options for your long tail keywords that are relevant for one product and that given design, you're limited to how many of those variations you can have because you need to include some long tail keyword combinations that sort of reflect the different product options that you have. Otherwise, you're not going to show up in those other search results. So if none of those considerations bother you, if you're okay with those, you think you can address those or they just won't make a difference for you, then let's talk about how you can actually make these listings. Okay, let's talk about how to actually create these combo listings. It all starts in Printify. We're going to create the product types that we want. We're going to use the exact, the design, the print file. We're going to create the color options we want, and we're going to actually save those listings in our Printify shop. But we're not going to publish them as live listings to our Etsy shop. We're only going to publish them as drafts because really what we need is the SKU number. The SKU number is what helps Printify identify that you have an order coming through with a product that I saved in my Printify store. So that's really what we need if we want to avoid the manual work of manually uh, syncing up or submitting the orders after we make this listing. So for example, we're going to go through and I'm going to make a listing that has a women's t-shirt, a unisex t-shirt, and a sweatshirt. That's going to be my three items that I offer in this listing. And I'm going to create each one um, in my Printify shop first by going in and adding my print file. So this is my sample print file. 
I don't recommend going more than say three or four color options for these combo listings because otherwise the drop down pick list gets really lengthy and uh, then it just becomes too many choices for the customer. So I have white, black, heather gray, and navy blue set up on this one. So you create this with the print provider that you want to fulfill your orders. In this case, I selected Monster Digital. You save it. And then when we go through to edit it, you want to give this a specific title. Um, so don't just say sample t-shirt or template t-shirt or something because you're going to do this every time you make one of these listings. So you want them to have a unique name, but you don't have to worry about the description. You don't have to worry about the pricing. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, submitting it as if you were going to publish it because we're not going to publish this one and make it our live listing. You want to make sure you check the box to hide it in your store. That'll push it through as a draft. You want to show all variants regardless of what's in stock because you need the SKU numbers for every variant. Um, and you don't want to create a new shipping profile because otherwise you'll have a million and it'll be very confusing. So just pick one that you've already got. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the publish button. And remember, this is going to be hidden as a draft because we checked that box. So don't worry about it being a live listing. It will go through and get pushed as a draft. And now you're going to do this for all of the product types that you want to offer with this same design. So in my case, it was three. So I'm going to do this three times. Now, where the magic happens is with a template draft listing in my Etsy shop. So I've created a template that I use for these combo listings. And it all starts with your mock-up. So you're going to have to do your mock-ups manually. Now, one of the things that you're going to need is a size chart that something that is representative for each product as well as a color options chart. Now you can buy these, uh, you can actually get them from other Etsy sellers as digital downloads. They're pretty cheap. So there's a lot of those choices out there. You can also make your own just as you can with your mock-ups. I have one uh, sample mock-up in here that just showcases a t-shirt and a sweatshirt so that it's obvious in the main thumbnail that I offer this design on more than one product. And naturally you've only got 10, but you're going to want to have a couple high quality mock-ups, you know, through a service like place it or something like that, as well as those size chart and color option charts. So that, that takes a little bit of manual work. Um, but some of those things like the size and color charts, you just reuse them and you save them in the template. So you don't have to upload them every time. You just have to do the ones that feature your design. Now we're going to make sure that we update the title every time. So it's going to have to have relevant keywords. I re highly recommend you use a, a keyword search tool like Sales Samurai. I did a 2022 update video on Sales Samurai. So check that out if you haven't. And uh, you can take advantage of a, a free trial as well as a 20% discount uh, with our POD Insights coupon code if you're interested in that. Um, also make sure that you select your fields. Um, about the listing for it was it's being made by another person or a company it's a finished product and it's made to order you can put it in any category you want um, I generally go with the t-shirt category unless I think it might sell better on the sweatshirt or something like that um, you don't have to worry about any of these optional fields except for maybe the graphic field if your design happens to fit one of these well you can select one but we have so many different variations we're going to enter here that none of these other ones really are going to be helpful um, in the description field, here is where your information goes for all three of the products in this case that we're going to be creating. We're going to have a women's t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and a t-shirt. I've got the product details in my template already for those three things. At the beginning here, I'm going to enter my description of the actual design like I normally would. So I'm good, that I'm going to change. I've got a couple uh, things that are just part of my template here about selecting uh, the product of your choice and... Uh, and a reminder that I don't take returns or exchanges. We're going to pick the Printify as our print provider. You can pick any section of your shop that you want. And again, this is where we do our 13 tags. Try to make sure you get some good long tail keywords that incorporate the different products that you're offering. Now, here's where the magic happens. It's in the variations area. And this I have set up as much as possible to save time when I copy this and reuse this template. So what I'm going to do is have this set up with all of my variations and a blank skew field. So I've got my prices set up. I've got all of my um, colors and sizes set up. And the way you do that is in the edit variations pop-up window. So you add a variation for color. You put in your colors. As I mentioned, I'm only doing four colors to try and keep it a little bit simple for the customer. 
under product and size is where you're going to go through and one at a time enter your different product size combinations so we have t-shirt small t-shirt medium t-shirt large and so on and the same thing for sweatshirt and the women's tee so i only had to do this one time because this is a template that i copy and reuse but you do have to set this up one time at the beginning so how do we populate the SKU numbers so that our orders will automatically sync with Printify? The easiest way I think to do this is to pop open a second browser window. Okay, so I've got my second browser window open. I've got them side by side. On the left is my listing where I've got all the blank SKU number fields. And on the right, this is the draft that we pushed to my shop from Printify. This is where I'm going to get the SKU numbers. So I'm going to scroll down to the variation section. And here we have all of the... Uh, this is the unisex t-shirt so this is uh, the top section here on the left and we have each size and we have color and we have skew number so i'm going to go first on my list on the left is black so i'm going to go down to black and here we have small through 3x we're going to do our control c on the right and go back over to the left and control v and paste in all our skew numbers for each one so now we're going to fast forward Okay, now I've got my SKU numbers in there for all of the black unisex t-shirt sizes. I'm going to repeat this process for the other unisex t-shirt size color options, as well as the women's tee and the sweatshirt. And when I'm done in my listing that I'm going to publish, I will have a full list of product variants with SKU numbers. And this was the important part because the SKU number is, again, what's going to tell Printify that you have a matching product in your Printify store so that the order can sync automatically. And if you take advantage of things like order automation, all that stuff will happen. All of the work on this is upfront when you're creating the listing so that the automation can take place later. So once I'm done with that, I make sure that I've got the right shipping profile assigned. I make sure all of my mockups are good to go and I can hit publish. You have a preview button there as well. But ultimately, here is our finished product. We have a product page where you've got you know, your mock-ups that represent the different products you have. You have color and size charts that match. And you go through as a customer, select the color you want and select the product you want. So here's our pick list, our drop down where you can select t-shirt, sweatshirt, women's t-shirt. The prices are all updating accurately according to what you select and you're good to go. So this is what the goal was, was to get a listing set up so that you have multiple products and this will do it for you. I wanna answer one other question before we wrap it up for today, and that is, can you do the same thing with Printful? The answer, unfortunately, is no. Printful has a backwards, forwards, two direction sync, auto sync with your Etsy shop, and it really is set up to only work with an individual product listing one at a time. Um, and hopefully at some point, Printify and Printful will both offer the ability for you to create a combination listing like this on their platform and then push it to your Etsy store so that you don't have to do any of this manual work of matching up SKU numbers uh, for the order automation to work. I hope one way or the other this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our new videos. Thanks everybody, see you next time.